Hi everyone, I'm live. I haven't been live in a while and I kind of forgot how to go live, so I'm kind of nervous. So we have a lot to talk about today. Um, today we are gonna be talking about consultations. So we're gonna talk about how to prepare for rhinoplasty, AKA nose job. We're gonna go over some questions and answers. And I'm also gonna have advice for some some of you ladies, this video is to help our thick skin ethnic rhinoplasty cases because our cases tend to be more difficult. But I do include a thin skin patient in this video as well. So all is welcome to watch. And also, please remember, I'm not a doctor. I say this all the time. I have to because people be thinking that I'm a doctor. Well, they don't think I'm a doctor, but people think that I'm trying to be a doctor. I am not a doctor. I don't be. I don't wish to be one. These are my opinions based on my re research and my experience. Over a hundred ladies have thanked me for my advice after they had surgery. So I kind of do believe the information I share is helpful. So I will continue to share my advice and opinions. So guys, also please remember at the end of this video, I will create and add some timestamps because I tend to get off track sometimes but this video i have like i have like a list of all the things i want to touch on in this video so i'll try to keep on on schedule so for the very first part of this video we'll be talking about ethnic nose job consultation and at the end i will answer some questions and chill and we can chat because i know i haven't been on live in a long time please interact because that's how other people can find me if you guys interact. So interact, say hi. I want to say hi to you guys. I know Nalumba. Please excuse me. Nalumbu. Hi, honey. Hi. Welcome. I know she's in here. Well, I will hope she's still here. So we're going to be talking about having consultation because there's a lot of things that you need to know and take note of when you have a consultation. And also for the year 2022, we are now in year 2022. I want to get into researching some U.S. doctors because I know some ladies, they're afraid to fly to Turkey and they don't want to stay in the U.S. So this video will only reference U.S. doctors for today. Don't worry. I will continue to talk about surgeons in Turkey, but just not today. Is everybody hearing me? I don't know if anybody's here. Hi, Bahamas. Hey, girl. Welcome. Hello. So I want to share a message I got with this young lady. Hi, Narissa. Hello. So I'm going to share a message I got on Instagram. And also, guys, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me. I'm going to share my Instagram so you guys can follow me, share screen. Okay, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram, okay, could y'all see? Yeah. This is my Instagram and I'm actually about to go live on Instagram too before we get into it. Let me go live on Instagram. What the heck is up with the Wi-Fi here? It didn't a post. The heck? I'm gonna go live and we're gonna get right into it. We have a good video today, a very important one. How do I do a filter? Okay, let's do this one. I'm going live on Instagram. Links live on YouTube. Join us to see what I'm talking about. Talking about. okay i'm live and i'm on youtube guys if you're joining me the link is in my bio come join me on youtube to see exactly what we're talking about i want to keep this up hey guys i'm live on youtube so join me on youtube to see exactly what we're talking about 
Okay, so this young lo lady, she messaged me on Instagram and she was saying how she had a consultation to see Jennifer Parker Porter. She's a surgeon out here in the US. So I'm gonna show you guys who Jennifer Parker is. I'm gonna share my screen. Oh, you guys can still see. So let me show you Jennifer Parker. She's a surgeon, I believe in Maryland. So this is her. She's a surgeon out in Maryland. Um, and she's ethnic, as you can tell, and she works on ethnic patients. So I love that. And I did check out her Instagram. Let me share my her Instagram with you guys. Join me on YouTube if you guys want to see what I'm talking about. Oh, this is a bad view. I forgot. Oh my God. Y'all. Oh, my tea is mad white. <laughs> Hold up. My tea is mad white. I look like a different person. <laughs> okay, so this is her Instagram. And I can tell just by her Instagram, she's like really old school. And she really has been performing for a long time. So this is a definitely a thing you can know. Like, this is a definitely an old school Instagram. And this is also like like a clinic, I guess. I don't, I wouldn't say it's a clinic, but I can tell like there's other people that operate in this one place compared to like Dr. Yu out in Turkey or Dr. Yu in Beverly Hills who have a office just for them. I can tell that Dr. Jennifer Parker, I think like more than one doctor work with her. And I can really tell like she's old school. Okay, so she messaged me on Instagram and she said, a few years ago, a patient of hers went viral on Twitter after tweeting about her rhinoplasty experience. Then I saw she has some good, good credentials and have been doing ethnic rhinoplasty for a long time and had good reviews on Real Self. And the neighborhood she works out of is right by my former university. I wish I can show you this conversation that I had. So I was familiar with the area and hospital. She learned that. She's also a black woman, like I just said. And I want to I wanted to stay in the US, but I had my consultation with her and I wasn't completely sold. I felt as she was kind, kind of in a out, kind in what she said, kind of in and out towards the end. It felt like she had to go or something. She kept looking at the door and I felt subconscious. I want to share this thing. Our conversation. How can I share it? Oh, let me stop sharing this. So basically, what she's saying, I'm not sure if you can understand me because I wanted to show. Um, she was saying how the doctor was like in and out, like she kept on looking at the door during the consultation. And that's a red flag. Like if the doctor is not paying attention to you and kind of like rushing you, that's a red flag because you're going into consultation, you don't want to feel rushed at all and i really want to share this conversation this is one thing i forgot to do how can i send this let me see what you guys are saying you don't want to feel rushed when you're in a consultation at all especially if you paid money hold on guys i'm trying to send this conversation to myself i forgot to do this earlier let me continue. So this right here is a red flag. I know some of you guys are wondering like how long a nose job consultation should be. Each consultation should last one to two hours. And at no point should you feel rushed during a consultation, especially if you paid money for a consultation. Like, I don't know what's going on with Jennifer Parker, but it's very important that you get your money worth. Like, if you ever go to a consultation and you feel like you didn't get your money worth, you express that shit. Like, make sure you get your money worth if you're going to have a consultation with a doctor. You don't want to feel rushed. Like, I know in Turkey, one thing I don't like about Turkey, like, they have consultations, like, right before the surgery no this is why i always suggest i always suggest this like if you have money go and travel to turkey and speak to doctors 
like speak to them, get their vibe. You don't want to have consultation and then have surgery right after. You want to shop around with the doctors in Turkey, see their vibe, see if they can help you or not because that one thing that's one thing I don't like about Turkey. Anyways, let's continue with what she sent me. I can't show you exactly the conversation because I forgot to send it to myself. So I'm just going to continue and read what she sent me. I mostly talk to the patient coordinator, but the part I didn't like the most is that she couldn't do a good digital rendering of what I would look like afterwards. They had some outdated computer they were making adjustments on, but the digital picture they made I did not like the way it came out. It was some outdated PC. I wanted to smooth my alarms crease and she wasn't able to really show me that. And I'm like, I don't wanna go to a surgeon who pictures is not what I like or want it to look like. I wanna give them a chance to create a better picture of my possible after, but I feel as though at this point in 2022, their office should have tools or hire someone so that they can make detailed and more accurate pictures. So I'm not sure if you guys remember, when I was in Turkey and I went to my consultation with Dr. Volkin and he showed me my picture and I did not like it. Um, and if I had listened to myself saying, oh, I don't like this picture, I shouldn't go to this, doc this doctor, I wouldn't have this nose right here. So it's important, like, don't base your opinion solely on the picture they show you. You got to keep in mind, especially if the doctor been, like, operating for a very long time, they might still be old school and they want to stay in their old school ways and as i said before if you go on her instagram you can see like i can just tell like she's an old school like she's been doing no surgery for a long time so don't really rely solely on the picture they show you i want to show you guys i want to share this when i told you guys like i did not like the picture dr Volkin did for me i have it saved let me share my screen. Hi ladies, in this video, I'll be sharing who I... Okay, so this is my video and I spoke about my consultation with Dr. Volkin. Um, where is it? Oh my gosh, y'all, I came a long way. Do y'all not see that? I really came a long way. Okay, so here it go. Oh. And he listened to all my wants and all of my concerns. And then his assistant took me to a room where she took pictures of my nose, of my face, so Dr. Volkin can do a 3D imaging. And I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. When Dr. Volkin did the 3D imaging, like, I wanted to cry. I was like, what is this doctor doing? Like, I did not like it at all. But you have to keep in mind, like, this is a 3D imaging. Um, the results may or may not be the same. And I did send it to a couple of friends, and my friend was just, like, saying, you're overreacting. Like, it looks really good. So this is the 3D imaging that Dr. Volkin presented to me. Like, I looked crazy. Do y'all not see this? I looked freaking crazy. Sorry? <laughs> So if I had just went by solely that 3D so imaging, after my consultation with if I went solely based on that 3D imaging, I wouldn't have this note. So it's important to remember like these doctors are sometimes old school and they don't like to switch it up. They like to go by how it was back in the days, but they're not events. So don't solely go based off of what they show you with the 3D imaging. Let me see what you guys are saying. I was kind of with her. Hey, Pat. Yeah, the morphs aren't accurate. And oftentimes, the girlies look way better than their morphs. Correct. Oh, my, my sucks, Hold on, guys. Hi, Didi. All right, so you can't go based solely off of the 3D imaging because it's not always accurate. 
Then the lady on Instagram, she ended the message and said, but now I told my mom and she supports me with my decision and I'm going to look into consider Turkey now. So she decided to not go with Jennifer Parker because she did not like the Imogen. And honestly, if I look at Jennifer Parker page, I don't really, it's not tempting. Like, I know these doctors want to keep it old school, but y'all got to advance. Like, our our world is advancing constantly. And if you want to keep up and keep your business alive, you have to advance. So I know this, oh, there's something happened to the live. Why is somebody messaging me? Guys, if you're here, say that you're here because somebody just messaged me on Instagram and said something happened. Can you guys hear me? Let me check because y'all sometimes be dead up in here. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Y'all just look sometime. Come on. Hey, guys. Let me see. Oh, it stopped on Instagram because we're over here. We're over here, but I'll go live back on Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to continue. I'll go live back on Instagram. But. Guys. Okay. So she decided to not go with Parter because of the 3D imaging. And I wish the girl best of luck with finding a surgeon for her nose. And guys, remember, if you need help finding a surgeon in Turkey, I do offer services on my website and on Etsy. If you want to go on Etsy, like if you're international, go on my website, go on Etsy. I have all that. Let me share with you guys my Etsy if you guys need advice. So you go on my website. Um, surgery, you click on surgery, and I do offer suggestions and research for $15, not expensive, and I do do my best with helping you find a doctor, and if you don't want to purchase it on my website, you can go on Etsy, especially if you're international, because I know some ladies, and I think it's, oh, here we go. And on Etsy, you can purchase it on Etsy as well. Okay, now back to what I was saying. So now we're going to go over like three YouTubers who was kind enough to share their rhinoplasty journey and consultation with the world to see. So I will share some things I learned from their consultation with you guys. So this can help you guys when you're during your consultation. So the first YouTuber, this one. I spoke about her so many times before, and it's I, Atia Wildcat. Let me share Atia Wildcat. Now, her case is very interesting, and this is why it's very important. Important to understand your surgeon, make sure everything's clear, make sure you know what you're doing. You can't just jump into going and have surgery. And y'all gotta remember, every nose is different. So you, one surgeon may work for you, but it won't work for someone else. So Atia Wildcat. So she, let's go look at her nose job. I'm gonna share her consultation and I want you guys to like pay really close attention to the words the doctors are saying because doctors, they tend to like tell you what they do, what style of nose that they do. So she went to Beverly Hills to have surgery with Dr. Yu. In her video, she shared a good example of what happens at a nose job consultation and what they do at a rhinoplasty consultation. You go to the office, you fill out some paperwork, then you wait to see the doctor. Then you can ask the doctor all the questions you need to, to put your mind at ease. So let's watch her consultation. And guys, like I said just a while ago, pay attention. Pay attention to the word in the doctor use, okay? You will still have some, mm -hmm. but... Anyway, they're cleaning up. Okay, it starts from right here. 
tip is more projected, I'm going to flatten right the upper tip, this mm -hmm. area of your nose, as well as make the nostrils a little bit straighter. Straighter in what way? So right now, there's a little bit of curvature and flare to the nostrils. Yeah. So they'll be straighter in that. That curvature is going to be flattened a little bit. So my uh, only, yeah. And I'm removing some of the nostril. Want an engaging website to boost your business? You're just a click away from five star fiber. I kind of like the circular. Like I don't want to go full flat. I don't so know. it will still have some, mm -hmm. but it will be more this kind of oval shape than it is right now. Okay. So the goal, at least when we consulted, was to reduce the width here mm -hmm. and reduce the width and flare here. Yeah. This is the point of the doctor's appointment where out of nowhere, even though I insisted I wanted a natural nose job and I did want a natural nose job. What the fuck? I decided to tell Dr. Yu that he could put a little, a little, a little Nike swoosh at the end of my nose. Now, if you don't know what I'm referring to, this is a photo of someone who has a nose job with a little swoosh, with a little... A little ski slope there at the end of the nose, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, let's let's continue. And I will be lifting up the infra tip or this area of the tip slightly. I'm like it's so pro. I'm trying to go natural, but I would, you know, if if you did, I'm doing a little short. I'm okay with You're it. okay with it. Okay. <laughs> that feels pretty like Barbie thing. Good, like, good to know. You're no, okay, no, okay with a little, little slope. slope. I had a thought process. I'm like, I'm getting a nose job. I might as well get a fucking nose job, you know. Okay. So yeah, that's good for me to know. I'm an actress. I wanna. The main thing, I have so much faith in you and trust in you. Like, your this is your craft. You know, I wanna look hot. I wanna look fucking good. I wanna come out looking <laughs> not pretty to pretty or prettier to way pretty. <laughs> so just like whatever. Ultimately, when you get in there, you know, I have faith in your choices. You know, as long as I don't come out looking ugly, that's that's my fear. That's my only fear. Okay, I got you. <laughs> so what I'm reading between the lines of a little bit is that if the nose looks slightly done, you're okay with that. Okay. I have to be at the surgery center at 6 a.m. tomorrow, guys. Okay. This time tomorrow. So the first red flag I see is her starting off the conversation saying she wants to have a natural nose job to ending the conversation saying she wants to look like she had a nose job. The reason I'm saying this is a red flag because you should at least know what kind of look you're going for the day before surgery. You prepare for your rhinoplasty consultation by knowing your surgical goals with regards to both appearance and breathing. Like you have to know your goals. She started the, converse, the consultation by saying she want a natural nose. And then she's like, doctor, make it look like I had a nose job. Like you have to know what you want. Now let me quickly say what you guys are saying. I can hear you on YouTube. I recently received talks today with doctor with a doctor here in the that I feel like he was too conservative. Okay, we'll talk about that. Well, if you feel like that and you want something more out there, then you go to a different doctor. What doctor? Tell me what doctor. All right, so let me continue. Another thing to try to understand before going into your consultation is that every doctor has this certain look and technique, whatever you want to call it, that they try to achieve with their patients. Like they have a certain style, every single doctor. That's why you have to do your research. And that's why I offer research to help you guys pick a doctor. Like every doctor have a style. They've been doing the same style. You guys may not see it because it might look different on each patient, but every doctor, they have their style. Even when it comes to BBL, they have a style. Even when it comes to breasts, they have a style and they continue to do, do the same style. It may look different on other patients, but it's the same style. And I'm gonna show you Dr. Yu's style. If you guys are curious to know who Dr. Yu is, I'm gonna share. And guys, please interact and talk, share screen. So I'm gonna go to Dr. Yu Instagram. And we're gonna, I'm gonna try to explain to you what I think his style is because I'm not a doctor, y'all. Y'all gotta remember that. Okay, so 
with Dr. Yu, you can tell, well, he's an Asian. Even in his um bio, it says is Asian rhinoplasty. So he likes to work on Asian rhinoplasty. And then you have to keep in mind, like when it comes to Asian patients, like they're most they mostly complain about how flat and bulbous their nose is. So with Asian patients, their nose tend to be really flat. So Dr. Yu style that he likes to do, he likes to project the nose more. So that's one of his styles because most of his patients are Asians and they mostly complain about their flat noses and bulbous noses. So that's his style. And guys, if y'all remember in the consultation, he said that a Tate, whatever her name is, she has, um, sorry, I don't mean to offend her, but I can. So her nose was like this circle, right? And if you project a nose, this is why you have to listen to the conversation. Let me remove this. So if you listen to the consultation, you can go, oh my God, my hair look crazy. So if you listen to the consultation, he said her nose was circular and at the end of her surgery is going to be like oval shape. And if a circle is stretched out and projected outwards, it turns into an oval. So he's explaining what he's going to do, like, and what's his style. He likes to project. If you listen to the conversation, it went from a circle to an oval. And when you stretch out a circle, it's an oval. So you got to listen. Another style I would say Dr. Yu has, let's look. And he tends to make like nose long. Like if you have a short nose and you want your nose a little bit longer, I will go to him. But overall, he's a good patient. I think he did um another YouTuber nose. He did a lot of YouTubers nose. So this is her. And also let's go over his side profile. So his side profile, he some he kind of do a swoop. So she was good on that part. Like Dr. Yu, he does a slight swoop, swoop, whatever she was calling it. The noses. So you can see slightly, not a lot. Like it goes like that. I like his noses. He does a good job, but I would only go to him if I had like I wanted a I had a flat nose because most Asian noses are flat, and I wanted it projected. And I would go to him if my nose was short, and I wanted my nose longer. As you can see, he makes noses a little bit longer. He projected a little bit, and he does kind of a. A, a little slope. See, this is a patient. Oh, she's so cute. See? Okay, let me see what you guys are saying now. He does not specialize in ethnic rhinoplasty. I don't want to, I don't want to his name out there. Oh, the doctor you're talking about? A non-ethnic person recommend him. Okay. All right. Well, you go to a doctor that you feel comfortable with. If you felt like he was too conservative, you find a doctor that can match whatever. Who is the doctor best for male rhinoplasty? Doctor you met Taskin in Turkey. I feel like his noses are kind of masculine a little bit. I went to Dr. Baikal before, and I'm not happy with the results. Is this my con convoy? Is this who I think that do makeup? I'm left with a deviated septum, very uneven nostrils, and very visible scars. So in regards to scar, I have a little secret. Vitamin E and scar gel will definitely help you a lot. So check that out. And I told y'all not to, Dr. Bacow, I would not recommend. Um, 
And if you go on Google and search his name, a lot of bad reviews pops up. But anyways, continue. So now the second YouTuber consultation we have is Charles and Alyssa Forever, who also went to Beverly Hills to have surgery with Dr. Gavami. How do you say his name? Gavami? Yep, I'm... I told you, Conroy. I told you, like, well, if you just go on Google and search, you can see all the bad reviews he has. And I didn't like his vibe. Hey, hey, girl. Hey. Okay. So we're going to stay on topic. We're going to move on to, um, I'm so happy Artie Berry's here. I haven't seen you in a minute. Hey, girl. The first thing, we're going to talk about Charles and Alyssa. And they went to Beverly Hills to have surgery with Dr. Gavami. I hope that's how he, you say his name. But I'm going to share their conversation. And guys, let me know if you can't hear. And I'm going to run out because I'm babysitting. I'm trying to get this money so I can get my surgery. You hear me? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to... Um, so I'm going to run out in a second, but I'm going to share the consultation that Alyssa and Charles had. Share screen. All right. So they went to Dr. Gavami. I know a lot of people asked me about this doctor before. Um, and we're going to talk about it today. Um. No, what's her name? Alyssa and Charles. Nose job. So she shared a video, nose job consultation. People think under any circumstances, it's complicated taxes. But for a TurboTax Live expert like me, it's just. Where, where do I start? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So she has an appointment. Well, she, she doesn't have an appointment yet. Nice. He's looking with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Hi. 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 Hi.
and have the opportunity to like understand exactly where the doctor, like what the doctor is about to do to your face. And I think Dr. Gavani, I can't say his name, Dr. Gavami, his approach is like, his approach is like this because like he does have a lot of celebrity patients under his belt and his work is good. But me, I don't care if you did Oprah's nose, like we're going to sit down and I'm gonna make sure like we understand each other when it comes to my face. My advice is like, if you get a doctor like Dr. Gabami, like don't leave the consultation until you're a hundred percent aware what's going to happen during surgery. Be polite and ask for a little bit more time. Like, and if you ask for more time and the doctor catches the attitude, you note that and keep that in mind. Like you don't wanna, you don't wanna be filled rush during a consultation. A consultation should last like one or two hours. And especially if you pay, you don't wanna be rushed. Like I paid my hard work and money for this consultation with your, your ass, so you better sit down and we're gonna go over what we about to do to my nose. Don't say it like that, I'm just being stupid. <laughs> Cause he might kick you out. Also, I'm just basing this opinion based on what I see. Like I never had a consultation with Dr. Gabami, so I don't know 100% sure. And the second thing I noticed with Dr. Gabani is the style of nose he liked to do. So if you guys remember during the consultation, the first thing he asked, let me go, if I can find it. The first thing he asked. I have an appointment. Since oh, let me share my screen. Share my screen. The first thing he asked, this is why you got to pay attention to what they're saying, because if you don't know what you doing, you're not going to know what they're talking about. So, look. Really <laughs> early. Yeah. Okay, bro. Why are you, you should ask. Well, this doctor. What I could do with these is, you know, I can see any makeup, but it looks like you don't have contour. No, contour. Y'all hear that? Makeup and contour. So his style, he likes to form your nose come with your eyebrows. Like, if that makes sense. Like, he pays attention to your eyebrows when it comes to your nose. And he form, he shapes your nose with your eyebrows so let's go on his instagram and i'm gonna show y'all dr gavani i don't know dr how you say his name dr gavani y'all know who i'm talking about this dude this is the dude i'm talking about okay so oh he got kim kim in the office okay see this is why he got that ego because he deals with like a lot of celebrities like kim is up in the office I'm dead. Um, okay, so let's talk about this. Um, let's talk about his style of nose. I saw this patient and I followed her. Gorgeous result. So if you look closely, I know she got makeup on, but if you look closely, you can see, see that her nose is lined up with her eyebrows. And that's one of Dr. Gabami like main focus is making sure that your nose is matched out. Like he goes for contoured look. And this one I saw, I was like, he looked like a beautiful boy. <laughs> Mad beautiful. <laughs> Look at him. He looks great. This is, <laughs> I'm done. He's gorgeous. He's already gorgeous. What a beautiful face. He's a very pretty guy. He looks great. Yo, you can tell he got money. This is how you know you got money when you look like this, okay? All right, so let's look at another nose and then we're gonna move on. What she got? So if you look at her nose, her nose is lined up with her eyes, her eyebrows. So that's his look and this is um her after surgery, um, Alyssa. Guys, like I know this stuff and I do offer this service on my website, levelupc.com. And if you're interested, I can like tell you what style of nose a doctor does and I can suggest some doctors 
out in Turkey though, not in the US because I, I don't have experience with US doctors yet. So look, his nose tend to line up with your eyebrows. And I know one of my regrets, let me stop sharing. One of my regrets is that I got microblading. I, my eyebrows is like covered with a lot of makeup right now, but after my nose job, I got microblading and I feel like I felt so weird. I like I felt like it didn't go together. Let me see what you guys are. You gotta really why are everybody complaining about that? A deviated septum. I'm worried. I'm worried. Doctor, you met Taskin. I have videos on that. All right, so let's continue. And then we have another patient who somebody messaged me on Instagram and told me about. And I'm gonna share because I've been on here for 40 minutes. And then I'll probably hang out and chat with you guys. I'm gonna hang out and chat. Oh, my hair looks so oh, mad. I don't even remember that. Tomorrow is self care day. Tomorrow is Sunday. And I'll be taking care of myself because right now I look crazy. <laughs> but oh my God, y'all see my teeth? All right, sorry, 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 sorry. All right, so the last person, somebody actually sent this to me this morning and I want to share with you guys. All right. So her name is Natalia. 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 I'm going to say that's her name. Her name is Natalia Adena. And she went to have surgery with a doctor in Texas. So I'm going to share her consultation. Share screen. Um, okay, I'm gonna share her. Somebody told me to check out her nose job and I'm gonna put y'all on to this one. Cause this one, I can't believe this was a US doctor who did her nose because, and I'm gonna show you why it's also important to pay attention to the wording the doctors are using. No, I'm stuck on here. I sit this here and here. Hold on, let's pause that. And I'm going to start from the part that we need to start from. So, are you ready? Very. <laughs> Very. Ready. And I just want to say her vibes, I love her vibes. She's so cool. So tell me the three things you want to do. Okay, so my biggest concern. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my biggest concern is um, my nasal bridge. Mm -hmm. It's extremely wide for me, and um, I I don't like obviously the ARs. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. And then um, as far as like the tip, I want refinement, something like a little bit more like. Um, well, you can't. Yeah. I mean, you know, you have a wide dorsum, you got a bump, you got ailer flaring mm -hmm. on the side here. You no, know, the good thing is you have a dorsum, so that's a good thing. So we're going to narrow that, take the bump down, bring the tip up, narrow, you know, refine it. Yeah. But, you know, you want to keep your beauty of your ethnicity. You want, right? You want to shape that. You want to narrow this, refine that, soften it. Mm -hmm. well, you're a beautiful woman. You want to keep that. Oh, I'm like, be as aggressive as possible, but thank you're you. like, what? I'm like, be as aggressive as possible, but like. <laughs> we're not going to do that. No Michael Jackson knows. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. So not gonna, that aggressive. We're just gonna, <laughs> you know, refine it, soften it. And then you may or may not need rib breath, you know, fresh frozen rib breath if you need it. Oh, okay. Potentially, you know, I always have it in reserve. You know, we use your septum if we need it, but you know, mm -hmm. if we need a fresh frozen rib, we will. Okay. But so you'll have an incision here, some on the base, mm -hmm. and soften it. You'll have a splint on the outside spoon. It takes about three hours to do. Where okay. do you live? Uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's it. So I just want to say I love her vibe. Um, and that doctor, his name is Dr. Rorich, and he's a surgeon at Dallas Plastic Surgery Institute. And let's so I felt like the whole vibe of it, like I really love the whole vibe of it. Natalia, she seems so sweet. She's such a sweet girl. And Dr. Rorich, I can't say his name, Rorich, Rorich. He seems like really cool and 
like laid back. But I do want to point out, if you guys listen to the consultation, like really listen to the consultation, the doctor will always tell you their style of nose. And if you listen to Dr. Ron, let's just call him Dr. Ron, his burden, he kept on mentioning two words. And the two words that he kept on mentioning was soft and natural. So that right there is his style. Now, like I said earlier, I just found out about this doctor this morning and I was stunned with his Instagram. Let me show you his Instagram because this doctor is, I would say it's, I don't know. I don't really know because I just found out about this doctor, but based on what I see right now, what? His work, let me share. Share my screen, share. His work, I read a little bit about him online and I heard that he was sleeping with his patients. He like messed up a happy home. Some drama happened with this surgeon. So that's why I don't wanna recommend him, but I'm just saying like, right, what I see right now on his page, his results are really nice. This one I like a lot. So this is her after surgery. And wait until y'all see her before yeah. surgery. Check this out. Look at that. She looks very soft and natural. And that's the style of nose he does. Soft and natural. Look at that. That's insane. And there's a lot more on his page. A lot more. Which other one I saw? I don't think I saw that one. Let's look at a... I saw this guy, this male rhinoplasty. That's the most and he looks like, like really the, good. Uh, so this is him before like surgery. I like the front, too. Yeah, the front yeah. Too. yeah it's before and after. And you tell what you're breathing. You couldn't breathe before. One thing I noticed. Okay, so, so look yeah, at his nostrils. It's, it's off to the right. we Pay both. attention so, to his nostrils. Set of times early for two months. His tip is shaping. His all and then if up. we go to back to Natalia. Natalia. If you go back to her YouTube channel, I'm going to show you. Like, her nostrils look the same. So he had this unique shape of nostrils he likes to do. So this is her after surgery, by the way. She looks gorgeous and looks so soft, like more. Her nose was like, I don't want to talk about her. No problem. Because, um, and plus her patterns are pretty neutral. So, so you see her nostrils? Very similar. It might cancel each other out. So y'all see, right? Let's go back to his. His own um, Instagram. So this doctor, I'm gonna definitely start researching because I was stunned. Like a lot of the cases on his page look so great. So, so great. But anyways, and if y'all pay attention to the consultation that Natalia had with him, he go for a soft and natural look. And I feel like he really does achieve that every time. I'm really shocked. I wonder how much he costs. And look, Dr. Nandari, he's commenting. Oh, look at this, he's doing lift alert. But yeah, let me see what you guys are saying. <laughs> Yes, he's a whole home wrecker. Mad drama going on with that doctor. What do you? I like his nose. Um, but I gotta um, like confess something. Like so, somebody recently posted on Real Self, and he did her nose, and I was like, what the heck is this? Like he probably getting old. <laughs> I don't know, but one of a cases that he recently did, I do not like it. But the patient, she loved it. So that's all that matters. She loved it, but me personally had me reconsidering Dr. Miller. Maybe she asked for it. I don't know. But even though somebody can ask for a certain look, the doctor will always do his style. So maybe she asked for it and his style, like, go 
with what she wanted. But anyways, so guys, my main tip when you have a consultation is remember that each doctor they has a they have a style that they like to do. His style might look good on her, but it may not look good on her. Every doctor, I every single doctor they have a style. That's how they learned to do whatever surgery they do. They have a style and they keep doing it. That's why they continue to be successful. Is it, you gotta remember, you're not the only, Artie Bear, you're not the only person in this world. So maybe they're backed up and maybe they just fired the, um, the front desk team. So you gotta always be patient um try calling don't be too bougie you can always call thank you miss k i, I feel crazy i need to self-care day tomorrow i'm also going to be blogging that so also another thing i forgot to mention with natalia at the end of the conversation um consultation the doctor asked do you have any questions and she was like no you gotta write down your consultation, like write write down your consultation, write down your questions before your consultation because you don't want to just go into sur surgery and not know what the doctor is gonna do. So I do have some questions that you can ask. This is the first question: Are you certified? You gotta make sure your doctor is certified, ENT certified. And I like to go to surgeons who focus on one thing. Um, say that you're doing nose. The only thing I would allow you to do as well is breasts. But I like to go to a doctor who specializes in one surgery. Whether it be breasts, BBL, nose. I want you to specialize in that surgery and you want to be certified. And there's also a website where you can check, even in Turkey, that you can check who is certified and whatnot. I know there's this doctor that's really getting popular in Turkey and he's not ENT certified and that's very scary. So you always want to make sure your surgeon is certified. Next question. What percentage of your practice focused on rhinoplasty? So that's another thing you got to make sure, like I just said, you want to go to a surgeon who specializes in this and if he and if you want your eye bag removal done, you want to go to a surgeon in his office that specializes in that while he specializes in breast, whatever. Let's see what this person is saying. If I go to a plastic surgeon that mainly perform rhinoplasty, do you think he'll mess up my breathing? It all depends on whether he is ENT certified or not. I'm your door. All right, darling, come in, sweetie. One second, guys. All right, so next question. How long have you been performing no surgery and how many rhinoplasty procedures do you complete in a day? Like I said on my Instagram, any more than four surgeries a day, your surgeon is crazy because rhinoplasty surgery, it normally takes about three hours. And if it's like a really difficult case, it might take even longer. And you gotta rem remember how many hours in a day and how many how long a surgery takes. So if one surgery takes three hours and they do four, that's like 12, 12 hours. And that's a good amount of hours for a doctor to be, to be working. Any more than that, he's crazy. Next question. What is the revision rate among your own patients? Um, you gotta, that's very important because you don't wanna go to a sur surgeon like Dr. Bical who mess, no offense to, um, What's his name? Kanan. What's his name? 
Kenroy, Conroy. You got to pay attention to how many people are complaining about their nose job like Dr. DeKal in Turkey. A simple search can answer that question. You can see all the complaints of Dr. DeKal. And I'm so thankful I didn't go to him. Um, I remember I used to follow this girl on Instagram, but I unfollowed her. I don't know why, but I did. Um, and she went to Dr. DeKal and she looks like she enjoy her like her nose and she's taking a lot of pretty pictures, but do you, I don't know how she's doing right now. Maybe she's complaining about the same thing as the um Conroy. Next question. What are my options if I'm dissatisfied with my cosmetic outcome of my nose surgery? So you don't want to deal with a doctor who runs away once they make a mistake or runs away when your nose like start changing differently than the doctor expected. Like my nose, Dr. Vulcan, he never wanted my nose to look like this. Um, I like it. He does want to fix it, but I like it. Um, he said something about my tip and yeah, something about my tip. He want to fix that, but I like it and I'm scared to go, go under the knife again and then probably not liking it after. So I'm um, probably gonna keep it this way. Um, probably after I have a baby, then I'll change it again, but I like it. Don't wanna do too many surgeries. Um, may I see before and after photos of rhinoplasty patients that are similar to me? Um, this one might be difficult. This is why you can book me for rhinoplasty, um, rhinoplasty advice, and I can show you some patients of that surgeon who has a similar nose to yours. But you gotta remember, a doctor does so many surgeries, he can't like just look at you and like, oh, yours look like Tiffany. He does so many surgeries, so you gotta keep that in mind. Next question, do you use closed or open approach? For our ethnic ladies, this is very important because if you have an ethnic nose, um, you wanna go with the open approach. It works out better and it's more likely for you to like your results after surgery. For our thin skin ladies, um, a closed approach might be okay for you because they want to, because they can already see what you're working with because your skin is so thin. So it might work better for you for a close. So close, thin, open, thick. I like that. <laughs> Do you have experience with acne noses? This is very important because our skin acne noses are very difficult and you want to go to a doctor who has experience with acne noses. Next question, will I need a graph? If so, what kind? So this is one thing I forgot to ask my surgeon. I know he didn't use um, any like graphs. I think he used, um, what is it called? I forgot what it's called, but he didn't use no graphs. And I'm curious to know like what's inside my nose. I think, I forgot what it's called. So this is very important that you know, um, will the doctor be cutting you or whatever? Very important to know. And what type, okay? Do you have hospital privilege to perform this procedure? If so, at which hospital? So Dr. McKelp, since we brought him up already, um, he performs at two hospitals. One of them is more than the other. And the one that's more than the other is Memorial, which is a very good hospital. So I can only imagine the other hospital that he performs at. You wanna know what hospital you're going to because you don't wanna go to a bad hospital. Memorial in Turkey is pretty good. I don't know about the US. Like I said, I wanna get more into the US and that's all the questions. Um, so make sure you write those questions down and you wanna ask your surgeon, um, ask your surgeon those questions during a consultation. If you're traveling to another um, country, what I suggest you to do, if you can't afford going two times, I suggest you book two surgeons Surgery, surgeons, sorry, you book two surgeons and I know it might cost a little bit more money to like make a deposit with both of those surgeons, but it will help you in the long run. 
in case you have a consultation with this one, you have a backup one. So that's what I do suggest you to do. I'm thankful when I was in Turkey, I did not like Dr. Bora. And I'm thankful that I could have uh, rearranged my schedule and stayed longer in Turkey. And I'm so thankful and grateful that I was able to book with Dr. Volkin. I had surgery, a consultation with Dr. Volkin and a consultation with Dr. Bacal. Happy I didn't go to Dr. Bacal. Happy I went to Volkin. Guys, this is the time that you guys can ask me any questions. Um, I've been on here for an hour and I will be going shortly if you got any questions. Should I rely on 3D image, a doctor? Should I rely on 3D image, a doctor shows me or not? Um, I answered this already, Bear. Um, don't solely rely on it. Take it into consideration because when they do the 3D imaging, they basically, what they're doing is just showing you their style and what they're gonna do, their style. It might not look accurate because it's not how accurate is it and telling you how your final knows just basically what exactly they're going to do it may look different it will look different but what the doctor's style is so they're showing you their style on your nose basically any more questions also you can go to my website i'm gonna share my website window share screen share screen Go to my website and you can levelupc.com and you click on surgery. And I do have this where I can do some research and make some suggestions for you when it comes to a doctor. And also I know a lot of ladies are about to have surgery I have my rhinoplasty gift box, which I actually got an order for today. I'm going to show you guys real quick. I have my gift box. It don't come in this box. I'm just all my items. I gotta ship it off today. Um, this Vaseline, Ollie. This is my rhinoplasty gift box. This will help with scars. Vitamin E cream with some Arnica sunscreen, Q-tips, nasal spray. Get your gift box, it's on my website. Scarf cream, very expensive and very good. Tape, tape. Romaine, whatever this is, I got it. You want it, I got it. This, because your skin will change after your surgery, it will become like really rough and bumpy. So I got this. Marcel water. I got it all on my website. I'll pack it up in a really cute box. I'm gonna work on this right after and ship it off today because I am kind of behind with this one, but yes, guys. Any more questions? Am I fully healed? I, yeah, when I went to Turkey um, in August, Dr. Volkin said, I still haven't uploaded that video. Dr. Volkin is such a good surgeon, but yeah, I'm fully healed. This is my baby. This is her. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the research package on your site because I'm completely lost. Yeah, we don't want that at all. Also, I wonder if there is some way to hide. So, yeah. So, this is my secret. And I'm going to share with you guys. This. And this. Shit. 
this and this will help with your scars. And this will make your scars completely invisible. I promise you. But <laughs> I want to start selling like my own. So the vitamin E and the scar gel together. They even did like a clinical trial with these two. Like you can search it. Like these things will do wonder, wonders. Even for keloid. Y'all remember I started to get a keloid right here after my eye surgery? It's gone and flat now. These two right here. And it comes in my rhinoplasty gift box. Um, I'm about to do a TikTok or whatever with my items. Any more questions before I go? I started off this live really nervous. I always get nervous talking to y'all. I don't know why. And I'm also going to include, I forgot to add that, um, CBD for anxiety. I'm going to include some CBD um, mints. Um, I'll get a good price for some mints, and I'm going to include that in the rhinoplasty gift box. I'm going to do an update. Any more questions before I go? So this is the rhinoplasty gift box. On Etsy, you can get it as well. On Etsy, you can get this as well. I know I have some international people that watch me. So if you want it, it's best that you go to Etsy. And this will like, also, if you don't trust me and y'all want to do the safe route, you can go to uh, Etsy and you can see I got five star reviews every time, all the time. <laughs> and on Etsy, it's a little bit more expensive because the fees that Etsy charge. Um, oh, one person has it in the car. It's shout out to you. Um, so yeah, so it's a little bit more expensive on Etsy, but on my website it's cheaper because Etsy be killing me with the fees uh, for real. And I do gift wrap, wrapping, whatever you want, I do it for y'all. So this one is going out today. I'm going to do a TikTok and whatnot. Any more questions before I go? I am also, can you show us in what order to use the product? It doesn't really matter. Just, just these two. Artie Bear, thank you so much for talking to me, girl. I appreciate you. Girl, I'm gonna, mm, girl, thank you so much. Artie Bear, um, I don't know where you live. Who's Artie Bear again? I think she was in Japan last time, or Korea last time I was speaking to you. But I wanna send you something. I appreciate you. So these are the two. It doesn't matter. Really good. Any more questions? Let me see. Who the heck is this? Who the heck is this? Um, my next surgery Friday video will be about Dr. Paneer. I won't go live for that one. I'm gonna do a nice video. Any more questions? Y'all just watching me. Oh, you're a girl? Email me. I wanna send you something for real. Email me. Seriously, Artie. My email is levelupseed.com. I want to send you something. Oh, you was in, okay. Girl, you be all over. You don't play. I love that. I don't think surgeon, uh, I don't think surgeon I like is ENT certified, but he's really good. Who? And also, if you want to be, be not careful, and you want to go to a surgeon who is not ENT certified, I guess just message some of his past patients and see, see how they're doing. And I don't recommend that, but if you that's what you want to do, go ahead. Because sometimes people be lying, saying, oh, I can breathe. I can breathe so well. But deep down, they can't breathe. And then they're going to tell you that they can breathe after going to a surgeon who's not ENT certified. And then you can't breathe. Next thing you know, every minute you pass them out, God forbid, God forbid. I'm not wishing that on anybody. But I just want you guys to be safe and careful.
Any more questions? Cause I gotta, I'm probably gonna go to the city to mail this off because all the post office are already closed. Because, uh, I don't know. But, yeah. And guys, make sure you guys are watching my vlog. Tomorrow I'm vlogging. Tomorrow is self care day. And I'll be doing my hair because my hair looks crazy. I have, how, I don't, I need help with my hair. <laughs> Anybody's a stylist, I need help. I'll be doing the best I can, but I'm a perfectionist and it don't be perfect. <laughs> it don't be perfect at all. I don't like that. It like, because I got thick hair. Yeah, girl. Thank you so much. Just DM me. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm also trying to break into different things. Um, I wanna do vlogs and stuff. Because sometimes researching can be like overwhelming. Sometimes, but there's a lot of doctors. And also, I will be going back to Turkey soon, as soon as I gain weight. That's the only thing that's stopping me, stopping me right now. I need to gain some weight. I really, I really need to gain some weight because I want my BBL before summer. June 17th, that's when all the kids stop going to school. And that's when I don't have to babysit no more. And the summer is mine. And I want to get my BBL. I'm not sure who I want to, but I'm ready for that stage in my life. I'm ready for a BBL. Everybody think I'm going to like look crazy, but I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm not going to look crazy. And I actually started sending pictures. I can't show you, but I started sending pictures to Dr. Plaza out in Colombia. Hold on. True. But yeah, guys, that's it. I gotta design this box. Follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna show you guys the after results when I ship all this stuff out. And I'm gonna treat this person real nice. I'm gonna put some CBD mints in them in this box, even though they didn't pay for it. But I think CBD has really been helping me like a lot with my anxiety. I didn't take none before this live stream. And I should have CBD been helping me with my anxiety. I think I might start selling it too. It's really good. Let's see what you guys are saying. Hey, Empo. Empo. Hey, thank you so much. I look crazy, but I, thank you. Thank you. I feel like my hair is crazy. I need a stylist. Artie Bear, do you know any stylists that can help me out? And also, I'm going to be hiring somebody soon. On the 17th, I'm going to make a post. I need help. I can't manage everything. And I'll be feeling so bad. People be saying, oh, you got bad this, bad this. Colette, help me. C, help me. I'm only one person. Like, I can't help everybody. And it's overwhelming because I really want to help some everyone. But I just can't by myself. They'd be like, oh my God, you take so long to answer me. I'm trying. I'm one person. I am one person. And I get so many DMs and it's overwhelming. Like I'd be like making it like a, a mission to answer my DMs sometimes. I'd be like, Colette, see, if you answer the DMs, you can go and eat, eat at um Five Guys. You can go get some French fries at Five Guys. Like what kind of braids? Box braids? I'll pay you. I need box braids. 
I only know one wig stylist. If you do box braids, I'll pay you. Or even braids back backwards. Do I need help? I can't manage my hair. I'm about to permit. I haven't permed in a while. Guys, talk to me. If you're in here, talk to me. We're hanging out real quick. I already had a beautiful con um, talk about consultations and I recommended some questions to ask, all that stuff. But now we're just hanging out. If you got questions, if you want me to research a doctor real quick, I'm going to be on here for the next 10 minutes. If you have any questions, you want me to research a doctor real quick, I don't mind doing it right now. I'm here. I'm, I want to talk to you guys. I want to help you guys. So if you have any questions, get out. Really? I wanted to do that. Which school? Out in Long Island? Actually, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. I'm asking too much information. I don't want nobody to <laughs> come find you. But yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Girl, then you know how to do some cornrows or something or makeup. I'll pay you to do my makeup before I go live because I be trying. But if you have any question, guys, ask me. I'm here. Let me go back and see if I miss anything. Is it impossible? Is it? I meant. I think she meant possible. Oh, she did mean impossible. It's impossible to know with a hundred percent what you will look like after surgery, though. Very true, but you can have a really clear idea really clear idea and why it's not 100 percent certain is because your nose it has memory and sometimes your nose will be trying to fight with what the doctor did and try to revert back to your own nose i scheduled a consultation with her a while back you are here dd thank you dd okay I'm gonna do a, do a video about the, a video about Dr. Imrod. I think that's how you say his name. So the next video is about Dr. Paneer, Gohan Paneer. A full video about him. It won't be live. It will be pre-recorded. Um, because I see that he is really getting popular, and I want to like go over like what to do before consultation and stuff like that. So I'll do a video about him. Artie, you've been here with me for a minute. I appreciate you from 305. I appreciate you so much. Like Dr. Blue. Dr. Matt, I feel like his nose is a very masculine. He is changing. I haven't looked at his page in a long time. Yeah, he was a whole home wrecker. Any more things? I don't know. And also, Artie, um, I know you're in Brooklyn. Who the heck is this? How do you block this person? After he's making my engagement go up so he can stay. I don't know. English, English, please. I'm here for a few more minutes. I'm leaving at four. So if you have any questions, You can ask me. Do I like Taskin? Let's do a little, little update on Taskin. Taskin, I wouldn't say I like him. I don't pay him any mind <laughs> because I feel like he won't. Where's, where's his Instagram? Let's check out his Instagram. I haven't been on task in Instagram in a minute. I think he worked better with guys. Like his nose really masculine. Like the only person knows I like that he did is my girl. What's her name? I'll be watching her all the time. What is her name? She's probably in my stories. I watch her all the time. Mm. 
The only nose I like. I don't know who that is. Y'all see who I be stalking and all that. Mm -hmm. Um, what is that person name? Uh, it's probably the A. Not that much. Oh, here she go. So she did. This is the only patient that Taskin did that I really like. She looks gorgeous. So this is Taskin work. She is gorgeous. And how do I know this? She has a YouTube channel, so I'm not spreading her business. I think her YouTube channel is in her thing. The only person, I feel like the nose like fits her really well. Well, with Taskin, I feel like his nose can sometimes be too masculine. and the bridge and nostrils masculine bridge and the nostrils i don't really like this is the only person i like that went to tuscan let me see how she looked before is this before And the reason I probably like it so much is because she know how to put herself together. This is her before. And I feel like with Task, and all he really did was like, her nostrils look very similar. It's still the same to me. Really cute. Maybe I need to ask her. I think she, where she get her hair done. Okay, so that's my opinion with, of Taskin right now. I haven't researched him or looked up his name in a while, but I feel like Taskin, um, masculine, or whatever. Yeah, his nose are masculine. Yeah, if you're a guy, I would recommend to go to him for your your nose job. It's it's not soft. You want a soft nose. And that's why, if you was here earlier, that's why I mentioned um, Dr. Rod Rich out in Texas that did um, Natalia nose. Her nose job looks very soft and natural and it fits her. Tuscan nose are, is given very masculine to me. Any more questions before I log off? We had a very good live stream, a very good. Even though I, I'm probably gonna edit the beginning because I was nervous. I always get nervous talking to you guys. And I'm babysitting right now. I gotta give him something to eat before his mother comes home. I'm that, that babysitter that runs away to go live on YouTube. But I take very good care of the kids. They all love me and I love them. And I'm doing this so in the summertime, I can have my surgery. And also, oh, I almost forgot to tell you guys. Um, Y'all remember when I did a giveaway? I'm not sure, but I gave away, I did a giveaway for a girl to get surgery. Um, for someone, not, it wasn't really a girl, but I give away some money for somebody to win. I did like a little, what is it called? A jackpot for surgery. And a girl won last year and she will be having surgery well, not surgery. I don't know what she wants, but she'll be having surgery very, very soon. And I can't wait to document it on my channel. She was the winner. She won, I think it was $2,000. Um, and she can use it for whatever she wants in terms of rhinoplasty or fillers or bulk of fat removal, whatever she wants. And I'm going to be documenting her journey tomorrow, not tomorrow, next month, <laughs> next month. And guys, if y'all haven't noticed, my braces is all. I don't got braces no more. I'm getting used to it. I look, <laughs> I look weird. I don't like it. <laughs> I want um veneers now. <laughs> I just spent like five thousand dollars out in the city to get my um braces, and I don't like it. And now I'm about to spend like 
10K to get veneers. I don't like it. People say they like it, but I don't like it. My bricks is off. I feel I feel older. And it's not right. You're looking mad right now. What surgery are you getting? I want a BBL in the summertime. Before summer, I want my BBL. My only problem is gaining weight. Where's Artie Bear? Artie Bear, are you trying to gain weight too? Because I need a partner. I need a partner to help me gain weight. I want my BBL. That's the only thing that's stopping me. In the summertime, I'm not doing anything. I might as well just be recovering from my BBL, but I need to gain weight. Y'all wanna, I'm mad skinny. I need to gain weight. The doctor can't take much. Like there's nothing. My butt is fat though. I can't shoot. My butt is fat already, but I want it fatter, fatter. And I see like most of my um, most of the people that follow me on Instagram, they moved on, and then I want to move on too. Like everybody's talking about BBL, and I'm like, damn, I can't even gain no weight. I want to join y'all. But I'm doing it for myself. That's another thing I want to talk about on my channel. Like, why I'm doing surgery. I'm doing surgery to help my confidence, to raise my confidence. Not because I don't think I'm pretty or ready. It's just there's things I haven't liked my whole life, and I'm going to fix them. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I am, I think I call myself a surgery, surgery um, advocate now. Yep. Oh, there's another YouTube I found. I need to get off of here because I got stuff to do. So I'm just going to show you this one thing. Let me share my screen. Combo button pants? No, because I be seeing some um videos and they be flipping their button pants in their butts. Oh, no. Oh no, I, I wouldn't do that. Mm -mm. And plus, I'm, I don't like the idea of putting plastic in my body or like metal, even metal, nothing. I don't like putting stuff in my body. And plus I'm a very, my health state is very burnable and I can't put fake stuff in my body. So I would not consider that butt implants. Combo of butt implants, no. And plus I think because I'm still so skinny, I think butt implants is still gonna look, is gonna look retarded. Like I'm gonna look like an ant and I already do look like an ant because I'm so small. <laughs> I'm so small. But yeah guys, thank you so much. I think I'm gonna end it now. Um, you guys have any more question before I go? I like how my nose looks with a certain filter on, but I know getting a filter nose is almost impossible. Uh, yeah, girl. Yeah, already there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, the next thing I'm going to post, oh, tomorrow I'm going live again. But we're going to be reading. We're going to be starting the book club. New year, new level up C, new goals, and... I'm going to be starting the book club, so I'm going to be going live tomorrow at 3 p.m. for the book club. And thank you so much. You were the first person here, and you about to be the first person here. <laughs> first person here, and you the last person here. Thank you so much for watching on Nadluba. I appreciate you so much. First person to comment and the last person to comment. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to be reading tomorrow, so if you like to read, Tune back in tomorrow at 3 p.m. Bye, ladies.